This is the story of our trial run at Matata with the fishing dropper tool and uh, what happened at the end. Rather a sad ending unfortunately. It was done of course with the Phantom DJI Phantom 3 standard which came to us from Ferntech complete with the fish dropper and it was held at Matata's camping ground which is a beautiful camping ground down by the sea and we went there in our trusty Compass Rambler caravan that you can see now. It was a lovely weekend and we did have lots of nice weather thank goodness although we did have one drop of rain. That's the DJI Phantom and its box. Now that is a Daiwa uh, reel, the electric reel that we've chosen to use uh, to withdraw the line and as you'll see from the picture the uh, put a small ring in the end which that's what the sinker hangs by and it fits into the slot in the uh, base of the Phantom. I've sped this up so you can uh, get the idea. Obviously you know how or possibly how the uh, Phantom propellers go on and also the setting of the compass make sure everything was right and just fitting the hook into the little slide at the bottom of the Phantom. Now we're going along the beach and I chose to do it along the beach because I wasn't sure whether there was any uh, knots in the line and I wanted to make sure that if it did jerk to a halt all of a sudden and bring the drone down, uh, it came down on sand rather than in the water. Now we're coming up towards the dropping point at this stage, just over 200 meters away from where I was standing and we'll be panning the camera down in a moment so you can see the splash into the sand. You will see the sinker wobbling a little bit at the bottom of the picture. You'll see the, very very briefly, you'll see the sinker drop and hit the sand. And there it went. As I said, it was a beautiful day. There was about a meter swell. My partner taking the dog for a walk, who was with us all the way throughout. Her name's Frankie, not my partner, but the dog. It is a girl dog. I just took it up the beach a little way and uh, back again because uh, I was playing around with the camera. I'm not used to the camera yet and uh, as you can see a little bit jerky and far too quick on the turn round. So we're back now looking up the beach towards Fokatani uh, which is probably about 12 to 15 minutes drive away from where the camp is at Matata. And then I decided to go up a little. Right in the very distance on the horizon you can see the East Cape area of New Zealand. There are a little bit blue hills there. It is a rather pretty site. That's my little caravan down there, uh, sort of the other side of the bus on the edge of the wetlands. That's Matata in the background and these are the little ponds that they have at the back which are tidal and Matata is a beautiful little town and the people there are very friendly. Great fish and chips there too at aunties and uncles. Another pond you can see in the distance. Whale Island uh, just out from Fokatani. And out there 
there was White Island, but you couldn't see it uh, on that day. It was a little bit misty on the horizon. We're back in the camping ground now, and you can see the wetlands and the uh, lack of people. It was a very quiet weekend bed for a lovely stay, in actual fact. There's a road right down the base of those uh, cliffs there which is called Matadar, Matatar Straits and uh, it's lovely and straight, very good for those uh, sort of faster cars that we seem to see a lot of these days. Uh, another view of the wetlands and our next door neighbours uh, from the caravan site, they came down to see what I was doing with the drone. This was a crash and the, unfortunately the wind caught the uh, wire, or the uh, braid, and blew it into the propellers. It caused a little bit of consternation and a little bit of language. Which I haven't left in for you. And that's all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you do like it, give me a thumbs up sign. Thank you. Bye for now.